Hey everyone, Ruud Jody here again and today I'm gonna revisit a solo that I did already. As a matter of fact, it was my very, very first guitar lesson here on YouTube. In that lesson I only explained the beginning part, the finger tapping part of the guitar solo in Iron. But today I'm gonna explain to you the rest of it as well. And like I said in that particular video, the beginning part sounds pretty impressive, but it's actually not that difficult. Let's take a look at that verse technique. It contains finger tapping and I'm using this finger and this finger. And it goes like this and I'm gonna play it up to speed first and I'm gonna slowly slow it down and then you can hear the actual notes and then you will realize it's, it's, it's super, super simple, man, super simple. <laughs> And this option is, is, is possible. So it's a group of six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that repeats itself. And the thing that makes it maybe a little bit impressive is the speed. And I suggest that you first practice on this. So it's tap, tap, pull off and hammer on. So I'm gonna play this first part slowly and I'm gonna move up and down my left hand. The right hand, however, keeps on tapping the 12th position. So that's already something that we don't need to, uh, to worry about. So you play that first little segment four times, but the very last note of that fourth time goes from the seventh position to the tenth position. One, two, three, four, and there it goes up already. Then you play that part twice, and at the second time it moves down to the eighth position. And you play that twice as well. The next segment of that opening lick is a little bit different. The left hand moves a, 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 a bit quicker and it's grouped by four notes. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's pretty much the opening lick. Next up is a, is a little lick, a little run in the, in the B minor pentatonic scale. The key of this song is B minor. The next part makes use of a technique called tremolo picking and that means that you pick with your right hand as fast as possible so that you get, uh, well I always like that technique to, to, uh, to add some energy to, uh, in this case, a pretty simple melody line, but um, <clears throat> you can listen, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> wow, wait. <clears throat> uh, oh, sounds so sexy. It's something that you can use to give some energy to a, to a simple melody line. It goes like this, but it's mainly on the G string, <laughs> except for the last two notes, it, uh, it moves up to the, to the B string. If I wouldn't play tremolo picking, it would sound like this. Nothing wrong with that, but I think that especially, you know, since this song is pretty energetic, I decided to, you know, to, to, to have as much as energy in the solo as well. 
that lick ends with a string bend and I release it just half a note and I bend it up again with a pretty heavy vibrato. It's something that uh, reminds me of a guitar player like Marty Friedman and uh, you know he's one of my uh, you know one of my favorite guitar players in heavy metal and I used to listen to him a lot I used to try to play a lot of his stuff and uh, I guess that um, you know that oozed into my own playing And time flies when you're having fun. This is the last part of the solo already. And it, uh, it's, it's again a, a lick in B minor, B minor pentatonic. Maybe this is a good uh, vehicle to practice a different position of B minor pentatonic because, you know, we, we all know this. That position of the minor pentatonic scale and, and you know, that's my B note, so if you start that run on this note, you automatically have B minor pentatonic. But you know, you can also play all those notes, those five notes, hence the name pentatonic. We all know the pentagram, you know, as metal heads. But those five notes also are located somewhere else on the neck. You know, as a matter of fact, I only realized that now, to be honest, is that I play that uh, minor pentatonic scale pretty much in this position. Also, that last part of the solo takes place in this position, but an octave higher, so here. And in a previous lesson I talked about, I, I still think it's called the rake, it's, it's like some deliberate noise that you play with your right hand and, and your left hand you mute the strings but you play this you play this you, you wait you mute the strings with your left hand but you play all the strings with your right hand or at least th three or four strings so you get it adds some dirt and some organicness some human vibes to it i don't know that leg goes like this As you can hear, it's pretty much a little melody which gets moved down. It's called a sequence. Um, well, in Dutch, sequence. I don't know what the English word would be. I guess sequence. Um, so it's it's six notes, of which the first, the second note is a pull off. So it's basically just six notes down the pentatonic scale. And then I play again six notes, starting on the B string with my uh, with my pinky, and I end on the twelfth position on the D string. So it's pull off, pull off. C'est ça. It's pretty simple. No, it's very simple. Doesn't mean it's easy. That's a different story because I still think that even though the notes aren't that uh, mind-blowing, I still think it's very important to to add enough life and attitude and you know <clears throat> that kind of vibe into the notes that you play. And I still think that that's sometimes a misconception with uh, maybe particularly younger players, that they only want to hear fast, super difficult shit, but if there's no life to it, then they're okay with that. Whereas I'm the other way around. I want some life, I want some attitude, I want some, you know, some, some human sounding uh, guitar notes or whatever, and uh, uh, speed and, and difficult stuff isn't that important to me anymore. But I'm 43, I'm an old fart these days, so maybe that comes with age, I don't know. But I'm gonna play the solo again for you slowly and there's some taps and uh, you know, enjoy.
So I hope that you enjoyed this short lesson and if you did, as always, please like this video, subscribe and press that bell button for notifications. And um, you know the, the Within Temptation festival run is gonna start uh, this weekend and I'm gonna try to make as many uh, vlogs or uh, tour diary video uh, stuff as possible. So uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe, it's fun to watch or maybe you don't think it's fun to watch but I will definitely enjoy watching these when I'm 80 years old. Well, I hope to see you again. See you later, take care and bye bye.